Okay, so the last one was the Apple just released a new headset. And at first, it is a confusing product. So, what is it? Why is it? Who is it for? And should you get this headset? Okay, so starting off with what is it? So the Apple Vision Pro is a headset that blends in virtual reality and normal reality, which is what is called augmented reality. And Apple has made this controller free, which means that you move your eyes to move the cursor on the headset and tap your fingers to select an object. And I understand why Apple's done this, because they want you to get the entertainment immersion that you get, and the controller just doesn't do that. And to make sure that you're fully immersed, the Apple Vision Pro has this feature called environments and basically what it does is make you in a completely different setting. So like taking off reality and just putting completely virtual reality so you're completely immersed in whatever you are doing. And it has around 17 sensors across the entire headset. So like around 4 on the front and 13 on like the back scanning your environment. That is amazing. And another way that Apple wants you to enjoy the headset is the display quality. Now this display quality is insane! Okay, so if you've ever taken out your iPhone, which you probably have, and looked at the screen, you can notice that it's incredibly high quality. Like, you cannot see individual pixels. But just imagine that, but 64 times the pixel density in the size of a person. That is a 4K TV for each eye, you know? That is incredibly high quality. And that is gonna make Apple some serious money. Okay, so why is it? Why did Apple make this headset? I think I have an answer. So as society gets more advanced, we need to be more productive with our daily life. And the easiest way to do that is create a digital world where everybody feels like this physically and thus socially close to each other even though they are like in separate countries or on like opposite sides of the world. A digital world is the easiest way that we can connect with each other fast. However, our technology is simply just not advanced enough to create a functioning, fully functioning VR headset. Like yes, the Apple Vision Pro, in this case specifically, is armed with the M2 chip, high class, and the newly designed R1 chip for this headset specifically. But this headset literally has a battery life of two hours. And most movies are longer than two hours. So either you have to swap out the batteries midway, or you just have to stop the movie altogether if you do not have two batteries. Next, who is it for? And this one is a bit more confusing because the Apple Vision Pro is a first gen, and first gens are not confident enough to assume their target audience. And with a price of $3,499, the average person's probably not gonna buy this thing. So only big businesses would buy it. And big businesses will obviously be gonna use it for work. But that contradicts what Apple is focusing their Vision Pro on. Like, if you look at the keynote, there's a lot of entertainment stuff. And yes, there are some work aspects of the Apple Vision Pro, but it is mostly entertainment and big businesses are not going to use it for entertainment and that's why you can't really get an answer for this question at least right now okay so should you the normal person get this headset it's really up to you i mean if you want to take a risk and buy a first gen of really anything that has a huge huge price then that's up to you. But if you want to play it safe, then and wait for the second gen and see how this entire thing plays out, then that's also up to you. I would play it safe personally. Plus, I don't really have three hundred five hundred dollars to spend because I'm thirteen. But you know, I'd play it safe if I was an adult. But you know, yeah. So that's pretty much it.